All right, so area and perimeter of rectangles. Um, finding the area and the perimeter of a rectangle is pretty straightforward. Uh, I think the most complicated part is just remembering which one's which and making sure you use the right formula. Uh, so let's start with a rectangle like this. It's going to be five centimeters wide and eight centimeters high. I would like to know the area and the perimeter. To find the area of a rectangle, you have to multiply the base times the height. Base times height, and that's, that'll be the area. So in this case, the base is eight centimeters times by the height, which is five centimeters. So the area is gonna be 40. But because it's area, the units are gonna be centimeters squared if they were centimeters before. So if I'd have given you those measurements in meters, then the area would now be in meters squared. Um, and the reason why is because a centimeter squared looks like this, you know, it's one centimeter by one centimeter, and you can measure an area with squares. You know, if I want to know how much space something takes up, which is what area is, uh, it makes sense to say, well, it takes up 40 of those little squares. That's why it's centimeter squared. Uh, and then perimeter is for any shape, actually. The perimeter is the distance around the outside, which just means we add up all the sides. So I'm just going to write add up sides. Now, I, I told you that uh, we've got five centimeters tall and eight centimeters wide, but that also means that it's eight centimeters wide on the bottom and five centimeters high on the other side. So to add up all the sides, we just do eight plus five plus eight plus five. So eight plus five is 13 plus another 13 is 26 centimeters. Uh, and this time it's only centimeters, not centimeters squared because it's just a distance. It's the distance around the outside. We added the sides together, just distance. Uh, right, let's just have a look at another quick one and then uh, I'll put a couple up on the uh, screen for you to have a go at. Let's do a tall rectangle this time. It's gonna be two centimeters. I'm gonna, I'm gonna change it a bit actually. I'm gonna say that this time this is 100 millimeters. Now, you'll notice that I've given you the, the width at the base uh, in, in centimeters and the heights in millimeters. So the first thing I'm gonna have to do in this case is actually convert them to the same units so that I can then multiply or add them together because at the moment I can't just add those together. I can't like add two centimeters and 100 millimeters. Because if I added them, I'd get 102, but 102 what? You know, it's not 102 centimeters and it's not 102 millimeters. Uh, so I have to convert them to the same unit. Uh, it doesn't matter if I choose to convert this centimeters into millimeters, so it matches the height, or if I convert the height so that it's in centimeters, but it looks easiest to me if I convert the 100 millimeters into centimeters, which makes it 10 centimeters. Now to find the area, I just do base times the height, so two times 10, which is 20, and those were centimeters before, so it's centimeters squared for the units for area, and the perimeter, perimeter, we add them together, two plus 10 is 12, plus another two is 14, plus another 10 is 24 centimeters. Right, uh, there are two questions there to have a little go at. Uh, if you would like to, you can pause the video and give those a try, finding the area and perimeter with the units, or you can just leave the video playing as I talk through. So. Pause here if you want to have a go, and I'm going to talk through the answers. So for this first one, the area is the base times the height, that's 3 times 5, so 15 centimetres squared, and it's centimetres squared because it's area, and the perimeter, perim, is going to be 3 plus 5 plus 3 plus 5, uh, 3 plus 5 is 8, plus 3 plus 5 is 16 centimetres. And then for this one, this is another one that's got the same problem as the second example we talked about above, because we have a mixture of centimeters and meters. Now I'm going to convert the centimeters into meters to make it two meters, because there's 100 centimeters in one meter, so there's 200 centimeters in two meters. Uh, and now we can find the area and perimeter. The area is the base times the height, so 4.5 times two, which is what it is in meters, to get nine meters squared. And the perimeter is going to be 4.5 plus 2 plus 4.5 plus 2. Um, so 4.5 plus 2 is 6.5, and then plus another 6.5 is 13. So the perimeter is 13 meters. So the area is the space that's taken up inside the shape, and for a rectangle, you multiply the base and the height. And the perimeter is the distance around the outside, so for a rectangle, you just add up all four sides. Um, the only other thing to remember is if it's given you the lengths in two different units, you do have to convert them to the same unit before you can work out either the perimeter or the area. Uh, and that's it. I hope that helps.